During the pandemic, many people were searching for things to do that are fun, but also allowed them to be socially distant. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson tells us about one sport that gained a lot of popularity, and that was still growing. Some travel by cars, some by ATVs. Or if you're Garth Heckendorf, you take both. It's just a good area to ride. Heckendorf lives in Mosini and runs the Harrison Hills ATV Club in the Northwoods. The idea to start the club came in 2002 when four friends got together, put an ad in the newspaper, and watched the club take off. Heckendorf's three friends remain a part of the club to this day, along with the 200 or so other members. There's been ups and downs. It grows. It declines. But lately, Heckendorf's seen a specific trend. With COVID going on, there's actually more people out riding trails than ever before because they can recreate and still be by themselves. You know, they're not in a group, but yet they are in a group. They're all on their own machines. And when they're on their machines, people tend to make a few other stops along the way, which Heckendorf says brings a lot of tourism funds to the area. ATV brings a lot of revenue into the community. If you look at the various establishments up in this area, in towns, motels get filled up. They sell gas, um, grocery stores, the campgrounds are filled up. Eckendorf doesn't do it because he has to. He does it simply because he enjoys it. And so do a lot of other people, apparently. At Irv's Sales and Service in Tomahawk, the store and their location in Marshfield saw a 30% increase in sales in the past year. The demand for UTVs and ATVs just skyrocketed. Owner Mandy Witt and her family enjoy the sport, too especially since it was one of the few things that could be done safely during the pandemic. Once COVID hit, demand went through the roof just because people decided that they wanted to get out. They had to stay put, obviously stay home, but they wanted to get outside and get outdoors. Demand was high, but supply couldn't keep up. And Witt says the supply chain is only just starting to heal. It's been a struggle to get machines. Once it comes in, it's already sold. It doesn't even make it to the showroom floor because people are pre-ordering their machines now. With demand showing no signs of slowing down, both Heckendorf and Witt expect the sport to keep growing. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson.